In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create dashed lines, staggered dashed lines, and coupon borders in Illustrator. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? Okay. I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Hello, creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. Before you can create a dashed line, you need to have a line. So the first step is to come here to your line tool. With the line tool, you can create a line segment, arc, or spiral. If you're not seeing this tool, you'll want to click down and hold and choose the line segment tool. It's right up here that you can set your parameters. In general, you'll not want to have a fill, but rather a stroke on your line. When you click down and then drag to the right, you'll create a line. I'll go ahead and undo that to show you that if you wanted to create a straight line, you'll click down and drag to the right. Now add your shift key and that line will be completely straight. Same thing for vertical lines. If you were to click down and drag, holding in your shift key, a perfectly vertical line. To make these dashed lines, you'll just wanna go ahead and select the first line, click into the white area and drag over to select the line. To create a dashed line, you'll need your stroke panel. To show your stroke panel, you'll come to window, stroke. You'll see here that I already show my stroke panel in my workspace. Check out how I organize my workspace with this video right up here. So it's in your stroke panel that you'll see this selection for dashed line. With your line selected, go ahead and check dashed line. So you'll see directly below the dashed line selection that there are fields for dash, gap, dash, gap, and so forth. In general, this one might be blank for you that says gap, and this one might say something like 12 point. Here, that means that the gap or distance between the dashes is equal to that of the dash. So here, I have a 12 point dash, then a 12 point gap, 12 point dash, 12 point gap. So that's how I've taken this line from a solid straight line to one that's dashed. And whether it's up here in the stroke amount or in the stroke panel, the weight amount here, you could choose to increase the thickness of that dash. So I'm gonna make a copy of this line by selecting it and holding the Alt or Option key with Shift as I drag down. It was Alt and Option to make a copy and Shift to keep it on the same vertical plane. Now with the second one selected, I could reduce my thickness of that stroke there and change this up. Maybe I would make it something like half of the amount, such as six. So here, once again, I have a six point dash, six point gap, six point dash. In both of these now, as I make my copy, but now in this first one, instead of just a 12 point gap, in addition to a 12 point dash, if I change this up to say something like three, here, these two are identical. I'll go ahead and make these two a different color. Now you can see concretely that these two have the same length of the dash, but a different gap amount. All right, so now down here, this one had a six point dash. What if I make that now have a three point gap? I'll go ahead and change the color of these two. And voila, these are identical except for the amount of space in between the dashes. But what if you wanted the dash amounts to be different, to stagger them? Here, instead of a 12 point dash and a three point gap, I could make my next dash be six. So in this way, I'll go ahead and reduce my stroke on here. And why don't I go ahead and change up the color? In this way, you can see that you could form a cool little pattern of the dash, a little decorative element that you could add, you know, to either a line or, by the way, you could do this as the stroke 
on any shape. Here I'll go ahead and make a rectangle with my rectangle tool. Because this was the stroke color and the dashed line I already had applied, it already went to my rectangle. So I can change that by coming up here. I'll go ahead and make it red and I'll delete out the attributes on this dashed line. So now, making it a little bit thicker so you can see it, I now have almost like a coupon border, right? A dashed line that's going around a rectangle. But see here in the corner, it's not that convincing because generally you would want to close up the corners if you're doing a dashed line. So here's how you can make the coupon border. I'll go ahead and delete those out, leaving this up as an example of maybe what we don't want. I can make a copy of this by holding my Alt or Option key, dragging down. I'll go ahead and add in my Shift to keep it straight. And now, once I have this second copy, I'm going to come over here to my dashed line. And it's this option right over here. It aligns dashes to the corners. By selecting that second one, now take a look at my corner. In the same fashion, I could increase the thickness and I can also play around with the amount of gap and dash that I have. So go ahead and make this 14 with a gap of like three. As I resize my box here to be more coupon box like, you can see that I have a nice dash line that even extends to the corners. And last thing to note, when I scaled up my rectangle, it also scaled the dash and gap. So if you wanted to maintain that 12 and three or whatever we put on here, you could select it, put the weight of that line back to four and move the dash and gap accordingly. So in Illustrator, it's your stroke panel that contains this selection for dash lines that gives you complete control over the thickness of your line as well as the amount of dash and gap whether that's a dash line, a staggered dash line, or any shape with a stroke. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl, with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.